a little bit of a vlog today. Day in my life. Ugh. Oh, so much to do. So, I'm at Dollar Tree. I have to go in. I said I was burnt out on Christmas, and I am. And part of it is <laughs> because there's just so much to do. So what do I have to do today? Try and find festive, Christmassy, wintry themed socks for my nephew. They are having a countdown to winter break. And yesterday was hot cocoa. Today is popcorn and tomorrow is the socks. Hmm. Good Lord. Also, I have to get some medicine for my niece because she won't take the stuff we have because it tastes bad. It's like you don't want your medicine to taste like shit, sweetie. Take pills and swallow them because that's, that's just how medicine is. It tastes bad. We keep telling her it doesn't taste good. Wash it down with something. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. She won't do it. Oh. <sighs> seven-year-olds anyway so I gotta find some something and get her to take it because her cough is awful and it's disrupting and it's just it's gonna keep going she doesn't have a fever so that's good um, but yeah so into Dollar Tree I go Since I'm on this side of town, I will try Target. Now, while I did find some socks, they're for adults. They'll work in a pinch, but we'll see what we can do. So, here we go. All right, so the best I could do was those socks at Dollar Tree. I was in Target, finally found some socks. They're all adult sizes and they're like five bucks a pair. And it's like, he's gonna wear it once. And yeah, so the only nice thing I treated myself to was a little Starbucks caramel ribbon crunch. I have no idea what they ever have on their menu because I don't go there. I hardly ever get coffee out. But I am just frustrated, done, and I'm heading home. And I'm going to rake some leaves. And here's the leaves i got to clean up. I also have my whole yard, but I'm trying to keep up on the leaves that are outside of our, yeah, my broken fence. And in our entrance of the carport, they get slick. And I have to back out. And yeah, all these lovely oak leaves. From all the oak trees that are not in our yard. Because we don't have any oak trees in our yard. They're all in the neighbor's yards. 
Yay. Yay. And there's a ton. So yeah, that's the raking I'm doing today. I still have more to do because I have the whole yard, but I've cleaned up a little bit in the lower yard once before. I've done this area like three or four times already just to maintain it so it doesn't get out of hand. And because my car drives over it, you know? Anyway, so I have that. I think I found something plaid for my little nephew. Um, it's not really, it's a red sweater. And the collar part looks like a shirt underneath it, and that's plaid. So that's gonna have to do. Yeah. So a delivery driver just came to my neighbor's house next door. So I had to stop. But yeah, I um, think I have everything done, and uh, so we'll see. Tonight is Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. So yeah. Uh, oh, and. I did weigh myself, so don't have a video of it, but I'll talk about it in a moment. All right, I'm going to be lazy for the rest of this video, but what my weight was, it's not official weigh-in, but I wanted to check, you know, um, was 163.2, which puts me like a little bit under my December 1st weight or right at it. So that's cool. I'll go with that. Um, how do you do it when you're off track and just going crazy? Um, it's what got me through last December and it's what I call mindful eating. So what is that exactly? Um, it's about, it's kind of a two-parter. It's about not just what you're eating exactly, but how much. So, example, you know, um, what is it you're grabbing when you're, you know, out and about and doing everything? Is it just a bunch of junk food, fast food, whatever, chocolate, sweets, cookies, whatever? Um, yeah, that's going to happen. But are you putting, are you making sure you get some fruit, some vegetables, maybe some lean protein in there? Try and do that. That's my fleeting. Trying to slip those things in that are good for you when you're surrounded by and just grabbing unhealthy options. And that's where you go into part two. And that is how much you're eating. So, you know, it's pizza night. Are you going to eat three to five slices or a whole pizza? Or are you just going to eat a couple slices? It's about portion control a little bit at that point. Um, when it's the stuff that you isn't really good for you, don't gorge yourself on it. That's that's basically it. And try and do, you know, a plate of food that looks balanced and do the best you can because sometimes that's all you can do. And you shouldn't beat yourself up too much because it's a stressful time of year. A lot of people are... Christmas shopping and going, 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 and it's easier just to grab some takeout or whatever, but you don't need to eat a ton of it. You don't have to have, you know, five things off the Taco Bell menu, eat a few things and, um, like in, like a, a, a real example, we'll go back to the pizza because I love pizza. Um, you're just going to grab pizza. So what you do is you go order your pizza. Maybe it's round table. They have a salad bar. Go get a to-go salad. Have that before you eat the pizza. You'll probably eat less pizza and you'll have gotten some vegetables in. Oh my God. It's that simple. It can be. Um, maybe it's Little Caesars. Is it next to a grocery store? Get a pre-made salad. It's okay. You can do that. Those are typically under 300 calories. 
uh, not the best for you, but they can fill you up and so you're not eating a bunch of the shit. That's the point, okay? Um, you can grab some pre-cut fruit because you're busy. Get some watermelon, get some cantaloupe, grab a bag of grapes. It's all doable. If you do those things and pay attention, you do okay. You may not lose weight, you may gain a little weight, but it could be a lot worse. Trust me. On like vacation around the holidays and gained like 15 pounds. No shit. It's doable. You can do that. But I've learned to try and be more mindful sometimes when I can't track and can't do anything. Just be more mindful of what I'm putting in my body. How much of it and the quality of it. Quality and quantity. That's mindful eating. All right. And so I will show you a little example of that when I have tacos. <laughs>